Hello folks, welcome back. Um, we've got one of our how-to guides today, which is how to fit an Ion Motorsport wind stopper, which to my mind is a must-have to any MX-5 because it makes a massive difference and they're really easy to fit. So this one's been supplied by our friends at MX-5 Parts again. Um, they've been sorting us out with a few bits and bobs and we're gonna fit it to the California. Now this will fit any Mark I Mark II and 2.5. On the Mark IIs and 2.5s, you may have to remove the original wind stop with the kind of flappy plastic wind stop. I'll see if I can show you one of them in a minute. You may need to remove that to fit this, but this is way better than that anyway. They're not actually that good. So let's get her unboxed. Be careful doing this bit because uh, it is a fabric wind stop. You obviously don't want to cut it. Comes with fitting instructions, but we're going to throw those away. Um, you may or may not need those. It depends what you've got in your car already. And there it is. So fabric wind stop. And these are really good at blocking out the wind. Um, got two brackets, one either side. Underneath these are, they look like they're probably 12 or 13 mil headed bolts, which I didn't bring a spanner out for. I thought it was all 10 mils. So let me just grab, I was gonna finger tight them, I'll, tight, I'll tweak them up later. I'll leave these off because it'll make it easier for me to do that a bit later on. So let me show you where it goes on the car. So even if you do have the um, even if you do have the 1.8 bracket, that's not a problem. So it goes on in this instance where the uh, popper mount is for the for the tonneau cover. Now that'll be the same on the Mark IIs and the 2.5s. So let's. Um, this is why I bought a 10 mil, you see, because that is 10 mil. Buzz it out. Normally I'd use my electric ratchet, but not many of you people, not many of you guys at home will have one of those. So this is exactly how it would be for you. Dun 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 dun. Should have got my ratchet, shouldn't I, Roy? Roy's behind the camera today. Gave him a break from welding. It's a bit hot. <laughs> That's that one out. Swing around to the other side. Now notice how I've got my window unzipped and I'll be careful not to trap that underneath the windstop. Now, whichever way you have this round, is really up to you, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for that way round. So it might be a... Sorry? Royce, I don't know if you've picked up the camera because I'm using the mic. Royce said he'd do it the same way, so... Could flip the seat forward because because this brace bar's in the way, just makes it a bit easier. Back in the hole. Now don't get, go too tight yet because you're going to want to find your position so I'm just going to nip that up around to the other side do a little camera dance oh it's dusty there Roy look you don't clean it well enough, mate. evidently not <laughs> A bit difficult to fire the, fire the company owner, isn't it? <laughs> right, now, what's important here is finding your position because if, well, obviously with the brace there, if you go too far back and down like that, obviously what's going to keep happening is as you're going along, it's going to want to keep flopping down. So you want to just have a little bit of angle forward just to stop that from happening. That's what I tend to do anyway. 
and now I've got that where I want it I'm just going to tweak up these brackets and these will fight you a little bit because as you're turning it it'll keep trying to move position so just sort of hold it in place so it can't do that same the other side sort of making sure you got them about the same that's that i shall just get me 12 mil bear with me a minute i'm gonna go 12 and 13. Now, it would have been easier to do this beforehand, but never mind. And you don't want this too tight, because you do want to be able to, to flap it down when the roof's up, because, um, you know, if you're using that extra storage at the back there, and you can see that moves. I just noticed that bracket the other side was moving then. So I'm just going to nip that up a bit tighter. Okay. So yeah, so you can see that flap down nicely for when you want it down. Now this, like I say, this wind still is probably well, I mean, they're not badly priced, and they do the job. Um, they fit with most things, even if you've got something like a TR Lane roll bar. They do slot between where you've got the over bar and the, and the back stay here. They do actually slot between those, and you can get these in. And they will fit Mark IIs and 2.5s as well. So, really, they do what they, do what they say on the can, and they look all right as well. All right? Very simple one, easy one for anyone to do at home. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one. Bye bye. I was just editing the video and <laughs> realized that I forgot to put the plastic ta taps back on. That's the trouble, when you're um, doing these videos, you're trying to think of 10 different things at once and you forget things. So I'm just gonna put them on now before any of you guys comment. Here we go. One, on. Two, on. Here we go, good. Let me just see while I'm out here actually, because I also mentioned about seeing if I can show you those, um, the sort of original Mark II wind stops. So you can see one in here. So I don't know if you can see that through the glass there come inside and put down the seat. So they, they're the ones that are in the Mark IIs. They have this flap up thing, but they're, they're not that great to be honest. But if you come around and inside, you can see that there would be a fixing point for that wind stop, that, which is they have a different, um, they have a different uh, popper on the Mark IIs, but it's the same fixing point. So that one there, and you'll be in the same place, or you can go no, it is that one. That's fine. So yeah, and have I got anything with a TR Lane roll bar on? I'm not sure if I have. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, there's one here. So, swing around. So again, you can see that you can actually, you can actually tuck those in, those wind stops. They will go in between there and there and tuck around. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but they do go in, and again, you've got your fixing point there. All right, so yeah, sorry to add that on the back of the video. Catch you on the next one.